What's up everybody, this is Jerome Flood II and I want to start off by showing you some hand techniques and I'm going to show you pretty much every possible way you should be holding a stick. So uh, the first way is what they call French grip. And French grip really means that your thumbs are, you know, over the snare. Pretty much like, just parallel. Like do a thumbs up, put your thumb right down like you're doing a thumb print. And that's how you're playing. So, it's just like that. You know, you can have your hands uh, gripping the stick completely. Or you can just have your index and your thumbs, you know, holding the stick. And the rest of the fingers, you know, just uh, making the stick move. which is a difficult exercise for the hand that you're not strongest with. But it's all in French grip. Right? Okay. So now the next one is German grip. And literally, you're just gonna rotate your hands over like that. You see that? Rotate the hands over. That's just, that's called German grip right there. So just you know, do singles like that with your hands turned over. It's gonna cause your arms to go out a little bit, just so you can you know get a comfortable spot on the snare or the pad. I really don't, uh, you know, use the finger technique when you're doing German grip because I usually use German grip for when I really want to hit the drums even harder or sometimes there's an angle that you need, that you really need to rotate your hands like that. So don't let anybody say that you can't do French grip and German grip at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, there's no rules. So... You just need to know exactly what you're doing. And um, so the next one is traditional grip, right? So the best thing to do is if you know how to do this with your hand, uh, that's where the stick needs to go, right there in between the middle finger and the ring finger. And you know, you need a little bit of space right there, a little bit of space. and. I just want to come closer, like, you see that right there? Like it needs to be right there. And see how my thumb is and where the stick is right there and the little, and that little uh, part right there of your hand. And then you just really let the stick do all the work. I mean, it's a wrist motion, but you kind of let, I kind of let go. I, I don't know how other people do it, but this is how I do it. I kind of just let go and catch it. You know, I let the stick work for itself. So, if you're doing singles, if if you're doing singles, I really just hold on to the stick. But if you're doing doubles, I just bounce it, catch. So that's it for that. And now, if you want to do side sticks, you know, like a rim shot, there's two ways that I like to uh, hold the stick. It just depends on what you're doing uh, or what sound you're going for um, or just how you feel that day. So take your thumb and your uh, index finger and just, you know, hold the stick like that, right? Place it on the snare, and then you'll have your whole uh, your whole hands. I mean, the rest of your fingers separated. You know what I'm saying, like that. While you're holding the stick, it gives you uh, I don't know. It just gives you a, a different type of feel when you're doing it. Or you could just have all your fingers, 
on the stick instead of going like that just have them like that and you can do the uh, side stick but me personally I have my fingers open yeah I like it I like it open like that it just feels more comfortable for me so those are all the uh, hand techniques for the snare that I want to show you today um, it's a pretty basic video, but uh, this will just help you, you know, learn every possible way I think that you can hold a stick. There's not too many ways to hold the drumstick. So, uh, there it is.